Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of Lycos, Excite, SGs, AltaVista, Yahoo, or Microsoft? What do these companies have in common? Two things. They were at some point search engines and in some way shaped Google. My name is Joshua Villapondo and I will be explaining how Google was an underdog and how it became a top dog today. Around 1985, these companies like Lycos, Excite, Yahoo and AltaVista all started around the same time. These are all search engines that try to make sure they had continuous traffic. Each one of these companies try to bring people in. Yahoo was the first to rank pages and make them relevant, but it wasn't search as we know it. AltaVista actually had a search box and it was the first search engine to have the search box. Excite was the first to give personalized websites with weather and stock and they were the first to give free email which later on Yahoo did as well. Lycos was the company that tried to buy any product to make their overall product better. They bought email, ad services and anything it could get its hands on. And how about Microsoft? Well Microsoft gave Google some competition. Google was an underdog because when they started they had no traffic. So what they needed to do was improve search. That was the only leverage they could against these main companies. Excite, Lycos, and Yahoo forgot that a search company should improve search and not just their products. Because they had loyal fans but they forgot their fans. Once Google was able to get people to come to the website, they kept improving their search. Once they had a solid group of people, they started to copy the other competition. They copied AltaVista's philosophy in that they made sure they would continue to make search better. They copied Excite and Yahoo in making search personalized and giving free email like Gmail. And they copied Lycos in that they bought other services like Blogger, YouTube, Google Earth, and Picasa and many other services. That is just one of the reasons why they became top dog. It also helped that Excite went to bankruptcy and Lycos as well. And AltaVista's main creator Luis Manure left AltaVista. But the main reason why they became top dog was because they had a really good search engine. Before Google, there was search that only looked for text on the web pages and was very limiting. Google created link popularity. Google searches through websites that are popular by how many people link to that specific website and if they had those relevant keywords that you were looking for. Let's give an example. Let's try and put Star Wars in Google. As you can see, the first result is StarWars.com because it's the official website for Star Wars and it's a fact that a lot of people link to that website. If you go to the second or third page of Google, you notice that there are other results that aren't official and are fan websites, which means less people will link to it and means a lower ranking. People love the results that Google was giving them and were frustrated with the other search engines. So naturally, when something is better and more useful, people will go to it. This is really the biggest reason why people use Google and go to Google. So what do you think? Google started as a project for school, but now it's a multi-billion dollar search company. It rose to the top at the right time when everyone else was falling. I hope you were able to see that anyone who wants to start a company can be successful and I also hope that it will encourage you to start your own business. Google is still considered an underdog in some ways, but now it's a titan in search. That could be you someday. I'm Joshua Villapando and I hope you are able to understand how Google turned into Google.